unboxing the Boxu Japanese snack box and so with each of these snacks here they come directly from Japan and they support family-run businesses which is super cute because then I can experience Japan all the way from Sydney so let's give this a try I'm just gonna unbox it here comes with a little card which is like thank you then you even get like a little brochure about boxu and who they are all the snacks that you're getting it shows you like what you're getting and it shows you where they got those snacks from i think this is really good because it gives you like context about where are these snacks actually coming from and where you're actually supporting it all right so this is what it looks like when you open the box and this has the thank you card i think i showed you earlier and then even the booklet where it shows you all the snacks that you're receiving modern snacks were traditionally inspired craving more shop these snacks at boxes i'm really shocked that all these snacks can fit in this box because it's just so much all right let's just count how many there are One, two, three, four, five. 22. So you have about like 22 snacks in this box. That is a lot and this box is worth about $50 per subscription if you do like a one-off. I have a $15 off if you're interested in trying this box. So cheaper if you wanted to purchase my code. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, you get so many snacks in this one box. Let's try each one of them. So let's do it in the order of this whole brochure and try each of these snacks. So first on the list, you have white strawberry and this is chocolate infused strawberry. Strawberries are freeze dried. That sounds good already. Oh, maybe it's not chocolate. Oh, it is chocolate. I can taste it. There's more chocolate. There's definitely a lot more chocolate than strawberry. Well, the texture is so much like chocolate. Oh, uh, it's infused with white chocolate to make sweet and refreshing treat. That's pretty old. Oh. Okay, I taste the strawberry now. The freeze dried strawberries. That's really good. They sent me two. Then I can have one later. Yeah, okay, I like that. Number two. The next one, we're gonna try. The mochi. You guys didn't know um, mochi is essentially like sticky rice. It's covered in sugar, color, traditional pink, white, and green. <gasps> I'm so excited because this is mochi and mochi is like my favorite. Anyone who says you have mochi, give it to me. All right, I'm gonna try the green one first and it's coated in sugar. This the green one, okay. I love the texture because it's chewy. But with the sugar coating outside, I think it's okay. But I like the texture. There's like Asian lollies like that I had when I was a kid. No, I rate it because I like the texture and I like mochi. Only thing is that I'm not a huge fan of the sugar coated, but I like it. Yum. Okay, it's called Shiro Ibi Senpai Sunday. This flavor is white shrimp with traditional inami, dashi, and ultimate savory rice cracker. I only recently started getting into like prawns, but anyways, I love prawn crackers, so I'm excited. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That tastes really, really good. Like the prawn is so strong. And it feels like it's prawn and seaweed. Yeah, I like this one. So this is the 20th century bear biscuit. It's mixed in with Asian pear, rich cheese, and white chocolate. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Mm. Oh this one's just good too. Interesting. There's cheese. But it tastes like cheese. Oh no, it's mixed in with white chocolate. Okay. This reminds me of this like Chinese koala biscuit with like feelings inside. So if you like that, then I think you'll like this one. 
Next up, we're trying the handmade yuzu sake candy. It's blends of yuzu juice, peel with sake with refreshing citrusy candy. I like how they say all these different things just to make sure that you can eat it or if you have any dietary requirements, like they have it there for you. This already, it looks like it reminds me of eucalyptus drops. It smells sweet. I mean, it's not that strong, but let's try it. This is so nice. The yuzu is actually so refreshing because it does say it comes with the citrus flavor. I like these a lot. I need to figure out where to get them. I mean, probably on the site, so I'll take a look. So the seaweed tempura. The seaweed sheets battered with fried and flavored native Japanese. Hidachi to create crisp and tangy snack that will leave your taste buds tingling. I think already seaweed. Keen. These are tangy. I rate them. This is um, another one. So I'm gonna say um, this one, uh, the seaweed tempura makes it to my top five. So good. This is actually the Don Don Yaki and it's named after the sound of beating taco drums. These savory senpai are fried, marinated in tokkatsu sauce for a flavor that's tangy, peppery, and a bit sweet. Four. I really like these. These taste like takoyaki and you can literally have takoyaki in your pocket now because these are so good. Okay, just looking at this, I thought this was tea, but it's actually not. It's edamame senbei, said to be deliciously nutty crunch. Okay, let's try this. Edamame, I never had it as a snack, so I'm curious to try this one. Mm, it looks like a little cloud. I like the cracker, but knowing me, I'm not a huge fan of sugar with my crackers. So this outer layer, it has all this sugar. I mean, if you like sugar on your biscuits, then you'll like this one. But for me, not so much. I mean, I'm always there, but I'm not a fan of the sugar. I mean, it still tastes good. <gasps> okay, the packaging for this one's so cute. This is the black sesame taco cumamon. Cumamon? Cumamon? By roasting almond sesame seeds and mixing them into sugar syrup. Okay, so I have a feeling this one is gonna be sweet. But this is super, super, super cute with the little bear. It looks like this. Mm. Alright, I like this one because I like sesame and I like how this one is not that sweet. I mean, the sweetness adds to it because you have nuts and I think anything with nuts or sesame works really go good with like syrups I kind of like this one I feel like there's a similar snack like this like the Chinese doors which is probably why I like this one mm. Mm -hmm. okay the next one the cheese and matcha steak cake with chocolate so this is a soft cake that uses matcha from Yuji Kyoto, which is known for its high quality. Pairing matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips gives this cake a rich, subtly sweet flavor. Because this cake definitely is gonna be sweet. Mmm! <laughs> wow, that's so soft. That's so soft. The chocolate is subtle, I like that. But the main thing is the texture it is so soft. I think I'm always, I'm just like, oh my god, the texture is so good. And then matcha, matcha taste, you can taste it, but it's not as strong. I think they did say it was subtle with the chocolate, so yeah. Mmm. It's right here. Seemingly golden cracker conceals thinly of red bean paste. Its flavor is inspired by shuku, a traditional Japanese dessert of sweet beet. So sweet red bean porridge. This is pretty cute. And it looks like a sheep's. Alright. So there's said to be like red bean layer inside. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Red bean is very, very thin layer. And I like that. And the cracker is quite savory. Even though it's just so sweet because of the red bean, it's quite savory. I can still eat these. These ones are nice. 
Next we have this cookie. This cookie uses apple. The addition of apple caramel butter gives it a soft, chewy texture. <gasps> caramel, chewy, cookie. Okay, I'm sold already. And I hope I like this. Looks like this. So, oops, I think I already like broke it. Got a little bit. The flavor of this, it kind of reminds me of mochi. It is soft. Not that chewy, but it is still nice. I think the caramel and the apple works really good together. It's definitely soft. It has a little bit of crunch. Next up, so we have the chocolate. There's a sweet roll filled with bean paste. This brownie like treat gets an upgrade with addition of rich chocolate. The luxurious chocolate is best enjoyed paired with hot tea. Okay, I don't have hot tea right now, but I'm just gonna try it. That's really soft. The um, inside, it does taste a little like cake, but I guess brownie is kind of similar. Here in Australia, brownies are a bit more dense, but I guess the Japanese brownie might be a little bit more like fluffy. Like, and when you go inside a bit more, you get more of the chocolate. Oh yeah, just it tastes more as a brownie when you bite into it. It's nice. But now we have chili oil chip. It includes chili oil, which gives these chips bright and fiery flavor. All right, this is what they look like. Mm, okay, texture of these crunchy, which I like. Thick flavor, chili oil. You can taste that kick, and I like how it's savory. Mm. I do taste like a little sweetness, but it adds to that chili taste. Kind of reminds me of prawn crackers. These ones kind of remind me of prawn crackers, but with more chili. I like. Next up is the uni crackers. Delicious fried cracker pulls its lovely flavor from sea urchin and soy sauce. It's savory and salty without being overly fishy. It even looks like real sea urchin. See what they mean by it looks like sea urchin because it's orange, perhaps. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. It looks crunchy already and... Mm. I think the sea urchin flavor is very subtle, but you taste more of the soy sauce. I like what they were trying to do here because I've never seen crackers with sea urchin. Crunchy. Anything that is crunchy and it's soft at the same time wins my heart. So that is pretty much all the snacks from the snack box. And some of them come like with in twos, so you get multiple chances of eating them, which I'm grateful for because I got two of. I got two of this and the strawberry chocolate. I think there's a few other ones as well, even the mochi. I'm gonna rate them. Which one's my favorite? Here are my top five. The Shiro Ibi Senpei Crackers, the Seaweed Tempura Made It, Don Don Yaki. This one made it. I think this one's number one for me because it reminds me of Takoyaki and I love it. The Yuzu Sake Candy, Chili Oil Noodles is... So these five are my favorite. Now, if I see these five snacks anywhere, I'm gonna order them again because they'll be like my favorite out of this batch. And I think you can, if you wanted to try and order them as well, you can get a box suit and have a $15 discount code if you wanted to try the box subscription. I think it's a really great idea if you really miss Japan and you want to have it in Sydney, so, or like anywhere in Australia, you can just try it. And they come directly from Japan, so you know that you're also supporting like local businesses in Japan. So I'm really happy with these ones. Now I know like which Japanese snacks I need to go to for like the next time. Thanks so much for tuning in with my unboxing and trialing all these different Japanese snacks from Boxu. And again, if you wanted to try, I have a code below um, with $15 off. So you can definitely check that out as well if you wanted to give it a try. Especially if you're missing Japan and you miss their snacks and you can't get them here. You can order a box of these and get delivered straight to you directly from Japan. So you know that it's quite authentic as well. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.